Hello, we're going to do a maths cast now on circle theorems. There's eight circle theorems you need to learn, and in lesson one we're going to go through four of them. We'll go through the other four in lesson two. So let's begin. A um, couple of things we need to know before we start. Um, if we take a circle, the centre of a circle um, we might call the origin, and the edge of a circle um, they might call the circumference. Okay, so if I can write these down. Right, so let's take the first circle theorem. The first circle theorem says if you take two points on the circumference and we join them up to the middle of the circle, we will create an angle. So this is our angle here. Let's pretend that that is 80 degrees. If I then take the two points and join them up to a point on the circumference of the circle, I'll make another angle. This angle, I know, the top angle here is 40 degrees because the angle at the top is half of the angle in the middle when they come from the same two points. So on the next slide, I'll show you how to write that down if they ask you for a reason. It says the angle at the center of a circle is twice the angle at the circumference. So the angle at the center of a circle is twice the angle at the circumference. So there's our first circle theorem. Let's have a look at the second circle theorem. So the second circle theorem, if we take a circle and we draw the diameter on it. So the diameter is a line which goes through the middle of a circle. If I then turn that into a triangle in half a circle by drawing two more lines like I've done, then what we have here, and we'll always have, is a right angle, 90 degrees. So what we're saying here is the angle, uh, uh, sorry, a triangle in half a circle will always be a right angle triangle, and the right angle will always be the one opposite the diameter. So let me write that one down for you. It says here, the angle opposite the diameter is 90 degrees. So this is the angle opposite the diameter, and it will always be 90 degrees. So that's the second circle theorem. Let's have a look at the third one. So the third one, if I put four points on the edge of a circle and join them up to make a four-sided shape, this four-sided shape has a special name. This four-sided shape is a cyclic, a cyclic quadrilateral. So a four-sided shape inside a circle like I've done there is called a cyclic quadrilateral. And what we know about a cyclic quadrilateral is if we take opposite angles, so this angle there and this angle there, they're opposite angles, they will add up to 180 degrees. So if we write this one down, if we take a cyclic quadrilateral, so a four-sided shape, opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees. So that's all we need to write down for our reason there. So if this angle here was 100 degrees, then this angle here would have to be 80 degrees so that it adds up to 180. So opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees. The last circle theorem we're going to go through this video is a bit like the first one, so we've got to not get it confused. If we take two points on the circumference of the circle and make them join up to a third point at the top of a circle, we've made an angle. If we then take the same two points, so these two points still, and join them up to another point on the uh, circumference of the circle, so if I join them up to, say, here, I've created another angle. These two angles I've drawn come from the same two points. Then those two angles will be the same. So this angle here and this angle here 
They're the same because they come from the same two points. So the way we write that one down, angles are the same as they are in the same segment. So same segment is the important bit to get the mark here. So these two angles I've colored in, they're the same because they're coming from these two points. They're both coming from the same two points. So there you go, guys. We've gone through the first uh, four circle theorems in this video. You may need to watch it a few times before you learn it um, and then go on and learn the next four. Thank you for listening.